Hey guys, welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. Our today's tutorial is really simple, but it may be helpful for understanding some of the basic functions and animations of PowerPoint. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background. And from here, I'll pick this light gray color. Now close it, go to home. Now we have to pick a oval shape. Then holding the control shift from your keyboard drag it over here and make it a small circle. Now go to format from shape fill change the color and from shape outline select no outline. After that pick a text box drag it here add some header text press ctrl A to select all the text change the font to TWCENMT Keep the font size to 18 point and change the font color so that it matches with the circle. Now holding the control shift drag this text box to down and it will be duplicated. Here I will add some explanation text. Selecting all this text, decrease the font size to 12 point, increase the size of the text box. Now holding the control button select this two text box, place it here. Now select all these three elements, holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard drag them to down and it will be duplicated. Do the same thing again. Then what we need to do, select this circle from shape fill, change the color to this and change the color of this text so that it matches with its respective circle. Do the same for this third block, select the circle from shape fill, change its color then select this text, change its color also. After changing their color, select all of these, holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag them to right and they will be duplicated. Do the same again and we'll have something like this. Now select all of them again and place them in the middle of our slide. Now we have to add some icons on each circle. You can download free icons from flaticon.com. I'll give their website link in the video description. Here now to add the icons, go to insert, click on picture. From here I'll take all these icons, select insert. I'm just placing them here for now and place all the icons one by one on each circle. You just need to make sure that all the icons are in the exact middle of our circle. After adding all the icons, we have to group each block one by one. So here I'm just selecting these elements and press Ctrl G to group. This is really simple. You just need to select the elements of each block and press Ctrl G to group them together. After that, I'll go back to my previous slide and from here, I'll just copy this upper portion by pressing Ctrl C and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Now this time is for adding the animation. So go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. To animate this first block, select this one, go to add animation, from here select grow and turn. Then set start on click and duration 0 0.50 second. Now select the second block, go to add animation, select grow and turn again. But this time select start after previous duration 0 0.50 seconds. Now select the third block from add animation, select grow and turn again, set start after previous duration 0 0.50 seconds. Now for this block, select this one from add animation, select grow and turn, set start after previous duration 0 0.50 seconds. As you can see that we are using the same animation again and again. So to save your time, you can use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation on a new object. So here to copy the animation of this block, select this one, click on animation painter and paste that animation on a new object. Again, do the same, select animation painter to copy and paste it here. Click on animation painter to copy and paste it here. Click on animation painter and paste it here. And here our animated slide is ready. 
Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I've given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like this video. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from our channel. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.